September 12, 1942. It was just another slow day on the job in the city that never sleeps. Just me, myself, and a fresh pack of Clarence cigarettes. Honestly, you'd think with the thousands and thousands of people in the city, there'd be a decent crime out there to solve. <laughs> but you know what they say, be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Anyway, the name's Derek Crane. I'm a private eye in downtown Manhattan. And not to brag, but I'm pretty good at what I do. Back to the story and what I was saying earlier. Be careful what you wish for. A moita, in my neck of the woods. The case of my lifetime. I'll never forget when she walked from my door. I thought Christmas had came early. Depends, what are you after? My husband has been killed. Shot. In that case, it's my job to help you. At least it says so on my door. You've got to find the bastard that did this. If you do, I'll be most grateful. I'll make sure they get what they deserve. After she had told me all she knew, that was the end of our first encounter. Till we meet again. And with that, I was off. The work waits. So I decided to start my investigation at home. After a glass of Kentucky's finest, of course. But this certainly wasn't an open and shut case, so I didn't expect to get much done without doing any proper digging. You know, visit the scene of the crime, take some notes, maybe ask a few friendly questions, and ultimately reach some valid conclusions. Which, of course, I did. Turns out a group of shady characters host annual poker nights right by the scene of the crime. Maybe this guy got lucky and beat the house. Sounds like motive to me. All I had to do was invite myself to the next game and see if I could rattle some cages. You guys don't mind if I play as well, do you? Damn it, now look what I've gotten myself into. I ain't getting paid enough for this. If I don't think fast, there's no way I'm gonna get out of this. Okay, I got it. Still got it. Sorry, but I have to cut your investigation short. Not tonight, darling. I've made dinner plans. And that's where the story ends. What a waste. I'm not just talking about the dame. My career died with her. Turns out two dead cronies is easily explained, but a beautiful woman? Not so much. So that brings me to why I'm here writing this memoir. Just wanted to get my story out there, and who knows, maybe one day the authorities will give it a second glance and let me make a sequel.